one of the key factors identified in a really good synastry, either for romantic relationships or friendships and other significant relationships is the mutual completion of the geometric aspect patterns in synastry. After intensive research, I consider pattern completion a major ingredient for a soulmate synastry. How does this work? For example, you have a grand trine and the other person makes a kite for you. Or you have a wedge and the other person makes a mystic rectangle for you. And the list can continue with more complicated geometric patterns, such as the Star of David. For example you have a kite, the other brings two more planets to form the Star of David for you. There is a difference between open patterns and closed patterns, closed geometric figures. For example, the T-square, when somebody brings one planet to your isolated square, although it is a fully closed geometric pattern, a square triangle, in astrological terms it's still an open pattern. It strives towards the other end of the triangle, to form a grand cross, like a bow shooting an arrow at the opposite end, thus creating a tension in need of release. On the other hand, the astrological closed patterns like a grand trine, kite, grand cross, mystic rectangle and boomerang, become in a sinistry a stable energetic structure, where all planets work together, when the two people get together, and they are synchronized in their activation. Most people are highly attracted to the ones who complete their geometric patterns for them especially the closed ones. The closed geometric patterns thus formed in a synastry are not only a great attraction factor, but also a compatibility factor and create a stable, long-term partnership. The more negative effect of a closed pattern formed in synastry is that the completed structure, hence the relationship, is hard to break, it is somehow unavoidable, magnetic. A significant relationship with long-term potential will most likely have at least one pattern completion by the other. The effect is stronger, and here is where the soulmate factor comes in, when the pattern completion is mutual. For example, they complete each other's isolated trines, or they reciprocally turn their T-squares into grand crosses, 